Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the custom rotator node. Let's go ahead and get started with the custom rotator node. You can find it right here. I can right click, type in custom rotator. We'll find it under miscellaneous or texturing, but it is actually a texturing node. Once we've created it, we'll find a few examples and settings. Basically, the custom rotator is intended to take an input, rotate based on a center and an angle, or 360 degrees, or 0 to 1 range, and then return back the result. Now, unlike the normal rotator mo node, this one actually gives you a center, so you can actually rotate it at different points, an actual pivot point. We'll look at how this works. Now, by default, your UVs, or your world coordinates are going to be 0.5 or 0.5, which is basically the center. Your default rotation center will be the center, and then your rotation angle is going to be nothing. So if you were to plug this in, just like it is, without any settings, well, nothing's going to happen. Now I've created a instance of this, so we can actually see how it works in real time. I have a sword. And if we were to pull up the texture, which is here, this is just a simple sword. That's all it is. And fortunately, it's got transparency, which makes it a little bit of a pain for what we're doing, but it works fine. And as you can see, it's just a sword icon. Now, if I was to uncheck all my settings, actually, let's recheck these and reset everything. Okay, and they are reset. And reset my angle to zero. We're going to find this. This is my default image. I have not adjusted it at all. Remember, by default, we're going to have zero. Oops, uncheck it. There we go. We're going to have 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for our rotation. And here's our default settings. We're going to rotate around the center, and we're going to rotate between 0 and 1 for a complete circle. So 0.25 would be a quarter, 0.5 would be a half, and 0.75 would be 3 quarters. You can see that here when I adjust my rotation angle. I go from 0 to 0.25 to 0.5 to 0.75, and then back to 1, which is the same as 0. I've gone and clamped this so that way we can see it working. Now you will notice it is adjusting the entire texture. So when it has something that is outside of our texture range, which as we saw here, basically is out here, keep in mind it's going to tile the texture. So this image here is here, 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 it's all around it. So when I'm rotating, because I don't have any blank space, I have no masking, I'm just rotating it, we're going to go ahead and see everything around it being copied in as well. But for our purposes here, we're seeing it rotate. Now the rotation center is literally where it rotates. My default, it's the middle. If we change this to 0, 0, x is 0 to 1, y is 0 to 1, we're going to rotate along this point. And you'll notice it now rotates along that point. And you can see our image rotating as it goes along. Of course, we can change it to the other side, do one and one, and we can see it rotating from the bottom right. So that's something to keep in mind. That is pretty much what our custom rotator is going to do and what it's for. It's to rotate something and to give you back values that are rotated. You're going to input your settings, which is normally going to be your UVs of your item. In this case, it's going to be the UVs that we're going to map for our sword texture here, our center where we want to rotate it around, and then the angle between 0 and 1, or 0 and 360 degrees. This returns back a rotated version of our input UVs, which we then plug into our texture, and that allows our texture to be rotated. 